Hello everyone, in this video I want to talk a bit about a uh, new design I call them the Baby Butcher Because it's a um, cleaver style knife This one, white Yuma While work on the back Let's see Power work, building roof. This one is 1095, most of them are, except for the yellow one that is 02. No, 01, sorry. 01 tool steel. These are 1095 high carbon steels. Press pin, well tubes, lanyard hole. These fit really nice in the hands. So that's the first one. Second one. No file work on this one. Just a uh, very basic G10 she um, G10 handle scales. And as, <coughs> as you can see, there are two left. Well, four left. Two are two are already gone. This one is in all one. Double fuller. Yellow G10 handles. I really like liking this shape. Also white Yuma, but with a different cut. Press tubes, rope style file work. Looks really nice on there. Machine finish. And as you can see, you can see the moon line on this one a little bit. But yeah, really nice knives actually. Let's see if I can find some recently dry paper. Just take one. Yeah, I'm cutting behind the tripod right now, so. Okay. Hello everyone, in this video I want to talk a bit about my new designs, well one new, one of the new designs, the baby butcher, a small pocket fix blade, one clip style blade, well shape, but with a more, yeah, I'm not sure, a tactical cleaver. Actually, the design is just so you can hold your hands. But some of them got a, this one, this one for example got a little bit of a swatch, sharpened in. Just to give it a, a different look. But yeah. <coughs> They're all. Oh, this one is in 1095, as is this one and this one. The yellow one is 01 tool steel. The first white one comes with this firework. 
if the camera will focus here we go this file work not knowing the name of my top of my head how I called it so sorry this one doesn't have any file work this one does this got a rope pattern something new that I tried for this one I like how it turned out so much itself that I'm uh, I've done it on a couple of other knives but uh, well I'm not gonna show you them right now the failed ones of these one of the rope pattern this one this has the has the spine pattern Aluminum tubes with epoxy, of course. So they have a mechanical and a physical bond. Let's see. Now you want to probably see how sharp they are. So let me get a piece of paper. Piece of paper. This one, it's a bit difficult to hold it, but not to hold the paper. That's by the way of the knife. Again, all new. Hello everyone, in this video, video I want to talk a little bit more about the new design. Just uh, well not just, it's my new baby butcher. That's what I'm gonna call it, because it's a small cleaver type knife. Work with blade, really nicely grind. Really liking how this turned out. This one does have some foul work, well most of them do have. That one doesn't have foul work, because some people like it, some people don't, and they're sharp. This one, white Yuma brass tubes, brass fit with epoxy. Hold on a second. Yeah, no big deal. <laughs> this one doesn't have any file work. G10 handle scales, 1095 steel, same as this one, brass tubes, satin belt finish, just from the machine. There is one more, I just realized, yellow one, of course, yellow G10 handles, aluminum pins, double fullers, spine file work, spine pattern, rounded of spines actually, 
So the I'm not sure if you can see that real nice. The spine sticks up a little bit, so it's, it comes together right here with the rounding of the fi uh, of the spine. Rope style file work, white humor, breast tubes, well heat treat scale on the fat, machine satin. And sharp. Now for the next one, the last one that I have of these, it's a little bit different. Well, first time using glow in the dark, well, full scales on glow in the dark. Really nice file work. Uh, minion tubes. Machine set and finish. See if I can get something to the left. Let's see. Here we go. Fresh piece. This one might need a little bit more of a strap, but no, actually it doesn't. Yeah, well, that's probably, I'm gonna strap them out a bit after this video, because paper is a little bit uh, brutal for knives, just the fact. So this is how it looks, the point dark in the light. And here we go in the dark. Not sure why, but it doesn't seem to glow right here. Probably because that part left in the shadow. Hold on a second, I'm gonna fully charge it on the light. And then we'll see. So yeah, charging it. That should be enough. Here we go. I really like how this is done. As you can see, only charge one side. Hold on a second, I'm gonna charge them all together. Well, both sides. This time. Really nice how they glow. I like liking this glow. So yeah. Also, of course, this one is also really sharp. Force. <coughs> put it back in the sheet so it looks in the sheet. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna put this one back in the sheet. So, and we get the light back on. Snaps right in, snaps right in. Snaps right into place. So they all come with a black Kydex sheet. That's all I have for now. It's a black. If you want one, but you say uh, I'm not a big fan of a Kydex sheet. I can make you a leather sheet. It's gonna be a little bit extra, but it's worth it. I'm gonna do one 
another sheet soon for my new one as you can see there are two missing <coughs> the one with the light blue Yuma is already sold the red one I decided to keep for myself because I don't really like how the handle scales turned out and I give my prototype away so yeah I'm gonna keep this one up probably also as you can hear it snaps right in the place but also these holes are rough but hey it is what it is that's it for this video let me know what you think of the new design if you like it or not and yeah talk to you guys and girls later bye